A local bookstore is temporarily closed due to extensive water damage. WLKY's Madeline Carter stopped by Carmichael's Kids in the Highlands, where several families voiced their support for the small business. A neighborhood gem forced to close due to extensive water damage. Outside Carmichael's Kids in the Highlands, we ran into several bookworms who were saddened by the news. It's a disappointment that we don't get to go inside and look at books, but I hope they'll be open soon. The children's bookstore on Bardstown Road is closed for the time being after a main sewer line broke and caused major water damage. Crews are now hard at work <laughs> to get Carmichael's Kids back up and running. The local bookshop has been feeding the imaginations of Louisville's youngest readers since 2014. There's already not enough bookstores in the area. And as a parent, it was always so fun to take her to the children's bookstore. He's about to start reading, so we were excited that he could pick out his own books. Families are now voicing their support for the small business. I grew up coming to Carmichael's. Now our kids are coming to Carmichael's. So it's a multi-generational effort for us to support a local business. The owners released a statement which reads, all of us at Carmichael's Kids deeply appreciate the support and well wishes from the community that we are receiving. The beautiful and historic neighborhoods we are located in also at times come with infrastructure that needs updating and we are temporarily closed while the issues with water damage are solved. I just hope they get back on their feet and like keep going again. And it is a neighborhood gym, and we'd hate to lose something like this here in the Highlands. While they don't know exactly when, the owners want to ensure you Carmichael's kids will reopen. In the meantime, you can still shop for children's books here at the Carmichael's bookstore on Frankfurt Avenue. But no matter what age you're shopping for, you're encouraged to support the small business as they work to reopen. At Carmichael's, Madeline Carter, WLKY News.